to Ron Paul. Tonight is a special night because we have with us one of the few honest public officials left today. A man who has championed freedom and liberty above all else. Throughout his life, he has worked tirelessly for limited and constitutional government, low taxes, free markets, and a return to sound monetary policy. He is known for his admirable consistency, for not wavering in the face of criticism or political pressure. He has never voted for an unbalanced budget. He has never voted to raise taxes. He has never voted to raise congressional pay. returns a portion of his Congressional Office budget to the U.S. Treasury. Yeah. Tonight, this man, who has given so many Americans hope for the future of this great country, will give a speech on what needs to be done to return America to its founding principles. So please help me welcome Dr. Congressman and Presidential Candidate Ron Paul. reception and uh, because I hold the uh, principles of liberty so dear to my heart it is so nice to see so many others who are joining in the cause and thank you very much for coming out. You know a lot of times uh, people ask you know exactly what I will say at a speech and I never know exactly what I'll say but the story will be the same. It may come out differently, but it's always about liberty. The story about liberty and why liberty is so important. It's important if you want peace. It's important if you want a sound economy. And it's also very important to understand liberty if you want to own your life and to run your own life as you see fit. understand that you have to understand where liberty comes from and one thing for certain we do not get our liberties from our government we have liberty in spite of the government and we get it but government very simply in a free society should be strictly limited uh, a good example of the proper role of government would be that in a free society Government should be open. There should be no secrets in government, and the government should be there to protect your privacy. Today, it's been flipped upside down. The government is secret. They don't want to tell us anything, and if we have a whistleblower who's supposed to be rewarded, is penalized, and what do they do with our privacy? They undermine second of our fourth amendment and they destroy our privacy so we what we need to do is reverse that trend whether it's the foreign policy the personal liberties or the economic liberties we've been going in the wrong direction for a long time there's been quite a few who have talked about uh, these issues for a long time, people that I've read and studied over the last 30, 40 years, and it was difficult to find the information. There, was, there were only a few groups who really defended in the midst of the growth of big government. But today, the good news is it's much easier. 
It's much easier to find the information. There are more groups than ever, more professors, more people, even in the media, even though I'm sure you get frustrated at times with the media. But uh, no, there's, there's a lot more opportunity than, of course, the energy coming from the young people with, along with the internet. We have a great team going for the cause. spreading a message is the internet, and there has been quite a few in, in Washington, under the United Nations, internationally, that would like to remove this wonderful vehicle for us to communicate. And of course, a few weeks ago, there was a uh, bill on the House and the Senate floor, uh, the uh, Stop Online Piracy Act. <laughs> Which once you discovered that, a few messages were sent out and all of a sudden there was a response in Washington. Guess what? Members of Congress took their names off the bill and the leadership was forced to remove that bill from the House. to a relative sense in Washington, D.C. But the very bad news is they're at it again. They have another bill coming up, not only equally as bad, but maybe worse, and they're playing off, well, we solved all the problems with the last bill, and now they have a bill, the letters of CISBA, CISPA, which means that if you want your privacy, if you want to protect the Internet, get to your members of Congress and get to your senators and tell them you don't want that bill. They cannot stop an idea whose time has come. And the ideas of liberty at the time has come, and we will not be silenced. No!